All right, guys, welcome back to another Master and Apprentice video slash podcast. Uh, today, we're going to go over all of the confirmed sets of 2023, the first wave. Uh, it's like January to March. Um, that's considered the first wave, right? The first uh, quarter, probably the first five months of the year. And then the second wave is, you know, June and beyond. Sometimes June is considered the first wave. It just depends how you look at it. Yep. Um, these are the ones that are confirmed. We'll kind of go over some of the ones that aren't confirmed. But these are the ones that we know for sure that are coming out January and a little bit after. So we start off with a Slave 1 microfighter. We already know about the um, other Slave 1 set. It's big. This one's set number is 75344. Again, these are the confirmed ones. It's $10. Uh, it'll release right at the beginning of the year, January 1st. I mean, we there's only so much we can assume. If it doesn't have Boba Fett, I'm going to be really confused because... <laughs> it has Boba Fett. We know it's going to have Boba Fett. We don't know. I think... I don't know for sure what, if we know which Boba Fett it is, if it's the new one or old one. I'd like to say the old one, but I mean, it, it would make sense for them to throw it in because they just made it a new series. So either way, $10, January 1st. Yep. Uh, the next one, I don't think it's confirmed for January 1st quite yet. Uh, I'm going to assume it is because they usually tend to drop Battle Pack at the beginning of the year. They did it last year with the Snow Trooper Battle Pack. Uh, but this year, we have a quite exciting one, probably the highlight of the first wave. Uh, set 7, 5, 3, 4, 5, coming at $20, thankfully. Uh, Star Wars 501st Specialist Battle Pack. So essentially the second iteration of the battle pack. It's nice because it's supposed to be more 501st troopers. It's going to be specialist. It's kind of, I, I don't know if it is for sure Battlefront 2 set, but the specialists are going to be like the troopers from Battlefront 2 with two heavy, um, a uh, captain, and I think a assault. sniper or assault. No, assault is normal. So yeah, it's going to be a sniper, a captain, and two heavy. So two guys and machine guns. I believe that's what's going to happen. Um, they're making a new mold. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, but the uh, the goggles, it, it, it's not like the visor, but it's actual goggles. They're going to be adding that piece, which is really fun because that's a piece I've been waiting for for LEGO Star Wars for a while. And it's also nice because it's not a $30 Final First Battle Pack. You know, obviously with the most recent one, which is retiring at the end of this year, being $30, this one's only 20 So it's nice to get that as well. Um, and then the bill for it is like some kind of cannon um we're not too sure exactly what the build is going to be never the center of a battle pack though yeah um from then on we have the um two 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 helmets um starting with uh captain rex's helmet uh, phase two this one will be set number seven five three four nine retail 70 bucks just like most of the other ones these two are coming at march 1st the other one is lego uh commander cody helmet Phase one seven five three five zero. Um, this one will also be seventy bucks. They'll both be released March first. You can imagine what they look like. I assume you just take the mini. We'll, we'll have and, pictures of of, yeah. of people who have made mocks of them, which are probably going to be really close because there's only so many things that Lego can do with the limited pieces that they have, and they want to stick to accuracy. So pretty much, you could take a picture of him from the movies from the Clone Wars. And get yeah, it. We can get it. We can get a, a decently. I mean, and you'll see in the pictures as well. Yeah. And then the other January first set we kind of skipped over. I'm personally super excited for this. Is the Lego Star Wars Tie Bomber? It's been a while since we've gotten a Tie Bomber. <gasps> set seven five three four seven coming at sixty five dollars. So it's going to be a little bit more of a pricier set uh, for a ship. I personally, whenever a ship is over fifty dollars, they've always been bangers for me. Only a couple haven't. You know, with the exception like Bad Batch Shuttle or the Imperial Shuttle, some of those have kind of lacked. But you know, other ones like the Mandalorian Starfighter or the Mandalorians and One Starfighter or any of the um, like Bo Boba Fett's ship, a, a bunch of them, the Inquisitor ship, a bunch of them have been really positive, and I'm actually really excited for. So I think this one it will be exciting. Uh, it's supposed to have the play feature of actually dropping the bombs, which is always cool with those. Yeah. Um, that that that's just. It's a solid one. I'm excited because it's been a while since I've done that. Um, and the Type Bomber is a decently iconic ship in the Star Wars franchise. So that, that would be cool to see that one come out in January. And then we have a couple other ones that aren't for sure. Uh, along with the other helmets, we are supposed to get another helmet. We don't know exactly what it is except for it is a helmet. 
Um, it's going to be set seven five three five six coming in at seventy dollars as well. We're going to assume it's going to also be at March first because all helmets usually come at the same time. There's sometimes they have a little bit different time, but that's the you know that's the only one that we know isn't confirmed or I mean it's confirmed we don't know what's coming out. And then a couple other ones uh, that we know are definitely coming out are some Mandalorian season three. We have a set seven five three four six coming out at thirty five dollars. And then the set 75348 coming at $100. The 35, there's only speculations. No one really knows what it could be. It could be a multiple couple of things. Uh, the $100 one, though, it is speculation that we are supposed to get. It's heavily rumored. Uh, you can go watch a couple other YouTubers who have talked about it. it is the Fang Fighter, the Mandalorian Fang Fighter, which is the ship that's retiring this year. And then a ship that we see in the trailer. Uh, I can't remember the exact name, but it's supposed to be two ships in one set which i personally think it's awesome i really love when they do it they don't do like the, those things kind of very often but when they do it, it's really cool and so i'm really excited for that uh, those are both supposed to drop march 1st and then we have some other sets that will probably drop earlier in the year as well probably march 1st uh, because most diorama sets do uh, we have the star wars death star throne room diorama set at seven five three five two at a hundred dollars and then we have a Endor speeder bike chase for set seven five three five three. Um, we can guess these are both coming out uh, because it is the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Both of these being from Return of the Jedi, so you can also kind of get an accurate notion of what those are going to look like. And those are all the sets we have coming out for the early wave of 2023 for Lego Star Wars. Those are confirmed. Again, some of them can be a little bit off, but those are heavily heavily rumored talked about sets that we know are coming out um and that's really it you got anything on any of those afton anything you're most excited about uh no i'm i'm really excited to see what those mandalorian season three uh sets are going to be especially the 35 five dollar one they've been i've been liking some of the cheaper sets that they've been throwing out i say cheaper less than 50 dollars. i think more recent ones have i been think pretty like good. 40 to 100 is like where they have like my favorite sets personally yeah so i'm really excited for that and to be honest I, I miss the old days where, like, when they had a series come out, like a show or a movie. All the sets from that year are pretty much focused about that. Not all of them, but most of them. But now we get, like, one or two sets in a year about that. Like, we got mm -hmm. one and or set this year, which was just – it was a little disappointing. Don't get me wrong. Some of the other sets we got were awesome, right? But it, it's kind of weird to see, like, only one or two. And I get it because they have two or three series coming out in a year. But, for instance, we didn't get any Tales of the Jedi set. So – I do enjoy when they do put sets out for the series because they just don't do it as much as they used to. Or, you, know, you know, in Clone Wars or Rebels, they would make pretty much the whole wave of that year about that set or about that series. Yeah. So it, it's still nice that we still get something. Um, and that's really it. We do have some brick heads, but uh, I don't care enough to talk about the brick heads, to be honest. Yeah. So, And that's really it for, at least that we know of at this point. Uh, sets coming out for 2023 uh, let us know down in the comments what you guys are most excited for um or what you're not excited for let us know if we got something wrong or you know maybe we need an update and uh with that don't forget to hit that like don't forget to subscribe if you're on podcast hit that follow hit that download and we'll see you guys in the next video